Imagine this. You've just made yourself a delicious plate of nachos and you're happily chomping away. But then, just as you're about to take another bite, you feel a tingling sensation in your throat. It almost feels as if the food is traveling up along with some weird liquid making your throat burn. This could be you experiencing heartburn, which is the most common symptom of gastroesophageal reflux disease, commonly known as GERD. Breaking down the word gastroesophageal, this refers to the esophagus and the stomach. Reflux means to return back or to return. It is the return of the stomach's contents back up into the esophagus. If this occurs less than twice a week, it is not GERD. It is GER, which stands for gastroesophageal reflux, and it is not considered a chronic disease. Chronic means that it's an ongoing condition. When you eat, food travels through your esophagus and the muscles around your esophagus are relaxed in order for the food and liquid to travel into your stomach. Once the food has entered the stomach, the muscles at the bottom of your esophagus, known as your esophageal sphincter, will contract and close so that the food is unable to travel backwards. When you're experiencing GERD, the sphincter will open up even though there is no food traveling from your mouth to your stomach. When the stomach contents, mostly acid, flows back up, it damages your esophagus. This is because, unlike the stomach, your esophagus does not have protection against the acid. This is what causes the burning sensation in your chest, which is known as heartburn. Some long-term effects without treatment are inflammation of the esophagus, or in extreme cases, esophageal cancer, damage to teeth because of the constant acid presence and changes in the vocal cord, and lastly, a chronic cough. Some long-term effects with treatment include a change in magnesium levels in the body, which can cause changes in your butt biome, which is all the microorganisms in the digestive system common for doctors to suggest avoiding acidic fruits and vegetables, so patients have to be careful to make sure that they receive all essential vitamins. Many factors that can lead to GERD. You are inhaling a lot of secondhand smoke. It could be because you're not eating healthy, you're pregnant, obesity, you're experiencing high stress, taking certain medications such as aspirin or even some asthma medications such as Ventolin. The symptoms can be as simple as feeling a lump in your throat or feeling like you can't swallow, throwing up, or more commonly, heartburn, which you will feel all throughout your chest. If you experience any of these symptoms quite commonly, you can see a doctor to be diagnosed. If you are having these symptoms, the doctor could collect images of the esophagus through an endoscopy. By placing a light, small tube with a tiny video camera into the esophagus, Doctors are able to see inflammation or irritation on the tissue lining the esophagus. Depending on the results, a small sample of tissue, or biopsy, may be taken from the lining of the esophagus to be further tested. The first preventative measure against gaining GERD is a change in diet. By cutting out unhealthy fatty foods, you are able to minimize getting GERD-like symptoms. The second most common method is taking antiacids. They can help minimize the pain of GERD. Essentially, it lowers the acidity of your stomach. However, overdosing can cause diarrhea or constipation. If you are on antiacids long term, it can affect the magnesium level in your body. If antiacids are needed for more than two weeks, a doctor should be consulted. For chronic reflux and heartburn, the doctor may recommend medications to reduce acid in the stomach. These medications include H2 blockers, which prevent excess acid from being produced in the stomach. A final resort would be a surgery called fundoplication. This procedure strengthens the valve muscles that allow food into the stomach. It does this through wrapping a part of the upper stomach around the esophagus to recreate the valve. It is only recommended if the sphincter is found to be severely damaged. The sphincter will only be severely damaged if you have the previous symptoms for over extended period of time. GERD is an extremely common condition with around 20% of the American population experiencing it. Just maintaining a healthy lifestyle and it is almost completely preventable. Let us conclude this video with a yoke. What happened to the orange in the boxing ring? He got beaten to a pulp. What do you call a cheese that isn't yours? It's nacho cheese. Thank you.